Okay, so now that we have our balloons drawn using our circles and ovals and our squiggly lines and our little triangle-like knots, we can color our work in. So for this part of the project, we're going to get our three primary colors that we just put to the side, our red, blue, and yellow, our primary colors. And we're going to use only these colors today for our project. You cannot use any other color. No other colors are allowed today. You're only allowed to use red, blue, and yellow. So this is what we're going to do. We're gonna use a different color for each balloon. Each balloon is going to be different. So one red balloon, one blue balloon, one yellow balloon. You can color them any color you want. You can make this one red, this one blue, this one yellow, this one yellow one, this one blue. Choose whichever color you wanna put on each balloon, it doesn't matter. Or you can just color along with me, that's fine too. So let's start with our red. Pick a balloon and color the entire balloon in. Even the parts that run into the other balloons, you're gonna color all of it in. Color it all red, the whole thing. See, I'm going over the lines from the other balloons. That's what I want you to do today. I want you to color the entire balloon red. And I want you to color nice and neatly See how you don't see any white of my paper? You see no white through the colors. See how I'm drawing in the lines? You don't see any red outside of the oval, outside of the balloon. That's what I want you to do. Color really slowly and carefully. Color in the whole balloon. There you go. See how I took my time? Make sure you don't forget the knot at the bottom. Now let's move to our next color. I'm going to use blue. I'm gonna color this bottom balloon in. That's what I wanna do. So again, we wanna color the entire balloon. Oh, see how I'm going over my colors? This is just like when we made our color wheel last week, isn't it? when we colored over top colors to make new colors. Now you're starting to see that we're doing the same thing in this project. Color over it and don't forget, you can color over the knot in the other balloon too. See how I'm going right over it? Color the whole thing. Each balloon when you color it in needs to be slowly and carefully colored. Yeah. There you go. See how I'm taking my time? Coloring carefully. That's what we want to do for this. So you should be coloring with me. Taking your time. Coloring your balloon in. Taking my time. None of us should have really little baby balloons on our page. Remember, we made really big circles. So we should be coloring right now. Everyone should still be coloring. See how I'm still coloring? Yep. I wanna see that everyone has their balloons completely colored in. Take your time. Don't forget your knot. Boop, there you go. And of course, we're going to move to our last balloon, our yellow balloon. I'm doing my yellow balloon last because I think when I draw over top of the other colors with yellow, it turns out nicer. So we're gonna do the same thing we did with the other colors. 
color the whole balloon in. This is really starting to remind us of the color wheel, isn't it? That rainbow beach ball, that rainbow pizza that we made. Color it all the way. Yeah. And again, don't forget your little knot at the bottom. So what do we have here? We have something that looks pretty cool. We have three balloons that we've drawn using the shapes that we know, ovals and circles. And they all run into each other. We used our colors to make it look like they are see-through. You can see right through them, just like a real balloon. Isn't that cool? What a cool effect. So we've just learned how we can create that illusion by overlapping colors. And in addition to learning about how to make these cool effects in our art, we've also practiced our color mixing in an art project that actually looks like something we recognize. So once you have your overlapping balloons that make a pretty little rainbow color, what I want you to do is I want you to decorate the rest of your paper using only your primary colors. You can only use these colors still. These are the only colors we're using today. You can decorate your paper in any way that you want. Do whatever you want. Draw whatever you want and fill your whole page and continue to do that for the rest of class. And at the end of class, we'll all show how cool our individually decorated balloon drawings that we used our primary colors for, we could see how cool they look. So continue to color your balloons nice and carefully and decorate your page anywhere you want. And we'll show and discuss our work at the end of class.